leveraging workplace strategies resources. Whether you are an HR professional, a consultant, a trainer, a facilitator, or a leader, we want to teach you how to use the resources that are available for workshops, for team building activities, and more. And the first question is the one that I get asked a lot. Are these resources really free? I know they say if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. But in this case, that's not true. Um, for over 14 years, Canada Life has supported workplace strategies for mental health to provide resources that help employers and employees improve psychological health and safety and workplace mental health. They do ask for attribution that you show where the resources came from, but other than that, they are free and we want you to use them. Thanks a lot. And this next little video is really going to explain about our workshop materials, some of our flagship items that are available for you. Welcome to the world of workplace strategies for mental health workshops. We hope this video will help you facilitate workshops with ease and confidence. Workplace Strategies develops free resources to foster positive mental health and to protect psychological safety in all Canadian workplaces. Our tools and workshops are evidence-based and designed so anyone can use them. Each of our workshops comes with a facilitator guide, participant handout, and slide presentation. Most of our workshops are designed to run from one to three hours and can be adapted if you have more or less time. It's a good idea to go through all the materials before the workshop. There are sometimes preliminary steps recommended, like reviewing your organization's policies, getting information from leaders, or completing surveys or assessments. Let's go through each of the core workshop materials, starting with the facilitator guide. The guide is designed so anyone can present the workshops as is or modify it to suit your workplace. For example, you'll find suggested wording you can change to meet the needs of your audience and your personal and organizational style. The guide also gives directions to help you facilitate the chosen topic with confidence. You'll find a list of suggested workshop materials like sticky notes or a whiteboard, tips on promoting the workshop, suggested wording for each presentation slide, tips to manage discussions in a psychologically safe way, and actions to help make positive changes. The facilitator guide also includes links to our online resources that can help increase your comfort level and effectiveness in managing responses and attitudes. The handouts align with the facilitator guide and presentation. The handouts give helpful information and space for notes. This way, participants can capture and refer to what they've learned and agreed to do next. There are notes about the workshop process. The handouts can be printed or used digitally. The slides are clear, visually appealing, and align with the facilitator guide and handout. One way to modify the workshop is to add your organization's specific content. For example, you may want to add slides related to your own resources, policies, procedures, or strategies. If you add slides, it's a good idea to build in extra time to cover them. Whether you're a leader or consultant, there are many workshops with everything you need to facilitate in organizations of all sizes on a wide variety of topics. For a complete list of workshop resources, go to clwsmh.com slash materials. All of our resources are available in English and French. After you run the workshop, we'd love to hear from you. Our tools and resources evolve with user feedback and changes to the workplace, legislation, and organizational needs. All workplace strategies, tools, and resources are available to anyone at no cost, compliments of Canada Life. Use them to support employee and leader success in your workplace.
that was helpful to explain a little bit more about our workshops. But David and Jill, do you have any questions from our audience about this? Uh, Marianne, I have a question from Sarah Jenner. And she says, I saw in the video that it could be leaders or consultants who use these tools. As a consultant, could they charge a fee for facilitating these sessions? Ah, great question, Sarah. Yes, in fact, the the whole purpose of these resources is that somebody needs to be the champion. Somebody needs to facilitate it, bring it forward and help to bring them into workplaces. And if you are a consultant who charges for your time, then definitely your time is valuable and you should continue to charge for it. You can't charge for our materials because they are free to everyone, but certainly the cost for you to facilitate and to be that host is no problem to us at all. Um, I do know that some people are actually build a consulting practice on being able to leverage these tools so they don't have to put in the time for the research and development and the cost to design and to translate and to print. And we really encourage you to use and leverage what we provide. Uh, and we, have a question, we have a question from John Brewer and he asks, is there one set of materials that would be able, that we would be able to use to facilitate an in-person versus online session? Or are any of these materials um, available to be used as hybrid teams? Ah, great question, John. And yes, uh, funny enough, we um, started the work on these just as the pandemic hit. And so we pivoted to make sure they could be facilitated online or in person or hybrid. Great question, John. Thank you. Uh, Marianne, there's a question from Brian Hansel. He asks, how do we order the workshop materials? What is the timing and can I have the materials shipped to each participant? Ah, oh, it's easier than all that, Brian. They're all available free for download at any time. So 24 seven, you've got access to them on our website and you don't have to pay shipping costs. You can simply either print them or just download them and email them to people so that they've got their own online copy. We're uh, being better to the environment, better to your expense account and uh, making things happen really quickly. Any other questions? Yes, we have one from Lisa. Um, she asks, as a consultant coming into an organization, she notices in the slide presentation that there is room for customization. Can we add anything we like? Is it okay for a facilitator or a consultant to add their own experience or use case in that session? Okay, so a few things there. Absolutely, the more you can make this your own, share your own stories and experiences, of course, those that facilitate know the better that it is. So we really encourage you to do that. You can also add materials from your organization, um, things that resources that you offer or concepts that you want your folks to also embrace. It, other than that, it's really limited just to copyright laws, what you can add, um, whatever is within your um, uh, influence and control. But we don't restrict you uh, in terms of what you want to do to add to this. Uh, another question from Lisa Marian. Is there concern about employees sharing personal information in these sessions? It's a, it's a good question, but these sessions are meant to be safe, as in this is not therapy, this is not um, sharing of personal information unless somebody chooses to. So these are all workplace um, safe and relevant. They are not meant um, to be facilitated by mental health experts, so I don't think we need to worry about what people share in some of them. We do ask that what is shared in the workshop stays there only because we're talking about challenges in the workplace, but you don't have to worry about people um, being required 
to share information that is personal or medical in nature. That's not uh, how these workshops are. And then we have one final question from Brian Hansel. Great. He asks, how much time would you recommend spending on prepping? Okay, so the answer to that is it depends. If it's your first time, I would recommend that you spend about an hour to, I would read the entire facilitator guide. We often give you links to more information in case you want to do a deeper dive if you're not already familiar with the topic. And this just lets you have that comfort level. It also lets you do those tweaks where you think, oh, I want to tell this story here, or I want to add information about this resource that we offer here. So about an hour for most of them to begin with. Um, some will be longer, um, then you might want to spend a bit more time. Some of them are really quick. It won't even take you an hour after that it's probably a lot less, probably between 15 and um, 30 minutes just to review again, make sure you know what you wanna say to that particular audience and away you go. You could actually open up the facilitator's guide and read the suggested wording and facilitate absolutely with no prep at all. But if I know most of you, that's not going to fly. You're going to want to do a little bit more and really feel like you own this. Any other questions? No, I guess that's it. So just to remind you, if you want any of the information that we're talking about, go to workplace strategies for mental And thanks very much for listening today.